I mean, I should have glared at her. I had every right to glare at her. I lost that job because of her. But what? I have to give my younger self some advice. I would tell her that she is enough. She is worthy. She's doing the right thing. It's not her. It's them. Um, don't work it at medieval times. That's what I would tell her. And it's only because I'm on such a high right now. I had the best audition today. I had a really great day. I, and it came from a callback. And <clears throat> today was the callback. And it went great. I feel like right now I'm at the point where everything that I've worked on and all the hard work that I've done and all the hard work that I've put in is now finally paying off and I'm now starting to see the product of my labor and I'm so excited oh my gosh I am trying not to think that something bad is going to happen because that's how I think that's usually my thought process and I'm trying to be better. I am. I really am. But trying to be better is a process. Trying is a process. Um, but I'm doing it. And I'm having a lot of fun. Whenever I like get called in, I love it. Because it means somebody likes my face. Because that's all that's on my headshot is my face. Just It's exciting because that also means more people like me that look like me are getting on TV and that means that I have a chance. A still very small chance, but I have a chance. The fact of the matter is, is like, it is so fucking hard, you guys. And I'm not even saying that to gain sympathy. I'm saying it to say, <sighs> there've been so many times where I've left an audition just being like, well, I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna make it like this. This is impossible. This is a really impossible dream. This is, and it's not fair either. It's not fair. And it's so strange. It's really strange to deal with it. And if you guys don't know what I'm alluding to, I'm alluding to colorism. There's so many videos on it, but colorism, yes. Colorism in the industry is wild you guys it's crazy it's crazy being on the negative end of it but having friends on the positive end of colorism and just like watching how they go through the industry and it's just it's just crazy i mean no fault to them you can't you can't really fault people for being born um the shade of black they are but it's crazy, you guys. It's fucking crazy. I had, for instance, earlier this year, or was it last year? I think it was this year. Was it last year? I I went to an audition, and I walked into the room, and the lady looked at me, and she's like, ooh. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Because I knew. I knew what that gasp was for. It was for the, wow, you were really, really dark. You're too dark in person and i know that because you see see the final product and it's always 100 percent of the time it's always a lighter skinned person and i can't compare my life to anyone but anyone else's because i've only lived my life um but my sisters are lighter than me and i could totally like you could tell you could totally fucking tell when somebody's being like, like oh hello my sister. And they look at you and it's like they want to kill you. And you're just like, oh hey, hey, oh no, you're not happy to see me? No. But yeah, no, so colorism in the industry, it's bizarre. It's fucking bizarre. Like if your picture gets past somebody. And I sometimes some of the auditions that I've been to, some of the questionable auditions that I've been to, and I've only been to like six or seven. It like there are just some people that that strive to make you cry. I and people I will I will argue this. I will fight you on this. There are some casting directors. I feel like that I probably shouldn't even say this. Okay, so I went to an audition and 
the casting director was looking at my was looking at the camera or the TV and I was doing my audition so she's looking at the TV and I can see her face and her face the whole time was like and so I finished and she looks at me and the first thing she said was you look muddy on TV and I was just like muddy I was like okay what do you say to that? Like, what do you say? And you have to be careful what you say. I can't argue with people. I'm not allowed to say, well, that's rude. That hurt my feelings, ma'am. Because now I'm aggressive and now I'm angry. So I just said, okay. You just say, okay. Oh, okay. And there's some people, I feel like the pe people who have a, a couple of credits might question that. And, I feel, and people like me, I don't have a lot of credits. So I would never, I don't feel comfortable challenging that. And I don't feel comfortable saying, can you please explain that to me? Because my, can you please explain that to me? It might make somebody, at the end of the day, everybody's still trying to get the job. They booked me off of my headshot. Everybody shows up for hair and makeup. I show up for hair and makeup. She has me wait at the end. Okay, cool, I'm waiting at the end. I have my book with me, I'm reading. We weren't allowed anything on set. I combed out my hair so it was kind of straight. Um, if they needed to do anything with it, they everything was ready for them to go. And all I needed was my makeup done, right? There's like 17 people on set. So the more people that are going and the more I'm like looking up, just kind of like looking around and people are asking me like, have you got your makeup done yet? I'm like, no. And so they, I go to wardrobe, I get my wardrobe. And then I go to hair, and so then I come back to makeup, and I'm the last one. And I see her, like, just continue to just look through her little little makeup bag. Like, she keeps pulling stuff out and then putting stuff back in. I'm thinking to myself, you don't have makeup for me. Like, you, you don't have makeup for me. I know that look. I know that, like, you can't fool me. You don't have makeup for me. And I'm thinking to myself, I could have brought my own makeup. I don't have a car and I took Uber there. So I literally just showed up with my book and my phone and and my wallet and that's all I had. And I was just like, I could have I could have brought powder, I could have brought something. I was like, I am so sorry. And I got sent home. She didn't have another audition. And I don't know. This guy was not nice to me. He was doing my audition, my one line. The character wasn't even supposed to be like a sexy character. I wasn't making it a sexy character because again, it was just one line that wasn't, and it was a children's children's show. Usually like, I don't know, either they say thank you or can you try it this way or hey, um, they don't look up or whatever. But he looked at me and he goes, your skin tone's not even sexy. And I was like, oh, fuck's that supposed to mean Steve I mean what is that why why would you say that why leave me alone but it's crazy it's super crazy so whenever I get called in and it goes well <laughs> like that it's just so fucking exciting because it's like oh my gosh I might have a chance and even when you don't book it, it's still like a positive audition. I've seen one penis in an audition. It was for a college play. And I was just like, dude, really? Ew. I was like, how old are you? Uh, you're gross. <laughs> and then I like went home and I bathed my body. It was bizarre. Like some of the college productions, those kids are bizarre. But I can't, I don't fault them. I mean, not like the pervy kids, but like the kids making weird shit. Make weird shit, you guys. You have to make weird shit. Because if you don't make weird shit, you're never going to know it's weird, right? And maybe, just maybe you like weird shit. And you're never going to find other people like you if you don't make weird shit. So make weird shit. The more you know. Hey guys, watch this. Ding. Uh, I wish I knew magic. I got magic in me. Anyways.
brushed my teeth. Okay, you guys, listen. My next apartment has to be, has to have more windows. Has to have more windows. More windows. More natural light. Here I am. Crazy. And then also, wait. Uh, thank you. Are you sure you're focused? It's just weird. It is weird. It's changing, though. And that's the thing. This talking about it. Someone's gonna find this and be like, oh shit, that fucking sucks. And then they're gonna see a dark skin person on set and be like, I hope to God the makeup artist has makeup dark enough for her. We should just hire... I don't even want to talk about the time that I almost lost my hair. Well, that's not colorism issues. That's just the makeup artist not knowing how to work with black hair. You guys, it's just... Again, I, I I love when stuff goes right. It's so rare. It's not rare. It's just, well, I mean, I guess the amount. Okay, so I've had maybe around like... 15, maybe around like 7. Uh, it, it, no, it's not. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. So I've had seven, like, really horrendous encounters. But that's a lot. Even one is too many. And they're exhausting. It's weird. As a dark-skinned person, I don't know how else it's weird. I don't know why. It's fucking weird. It's weird. It's weird going into a room, being the only black person there, and then people thinking it's okay to, to interrogate you. Like, it's... It's like forever being the new kid. And in every space that you, you're in, you're just the new kid at a snobby high school. The poor new kid at a snobby high school. Not every black person's poor. Yes, I know this. But that's the feeling when, at least for myself, when you walk into a room and they're just like, or they're overly excited to see you. Hiya. So good to see you. What's your name? I mean, I get it, some people are nervous, whatever, but it's just weird. It's still okay for me as a human being to acknowledge that moment as weird. It's still okay for me as a human being to acknowledge the moments where it's blatant colorism as fucked up. And then it's also fucked up to be like, well, you have to take it. You have to take it like a bitch. Take it. Take it. But I'm glad we don't really have to take it because... I like Ava DuVernay, Lena Waithe, oh, there's so many others. And it's just black female creatives that are doing awesome. And the only reason why I'm excited about that is because I'm an actor and I deserve to be excited about my job. It's like going to a job every day where people, where you know you're never going to move up and you're never going to get acknowledged for anything that you do. You're always going to be Dave and counting. You're not going to be anybody else but Dave in accounting. Hey, who's that Dave from accounting? Oh, okay. Who's that? Oh, Marsha Lindbergh. I mean, not that being Dave in accounting is a bad thing. And if your name is Dave and you work in accounting, I mean... Yeah, so for the little kids, the little girls that look like me that are out there that may or may not watch this, or maybe your older sister watched this and she's going to tell you, hey, you know, there's this black woman on YouTube and she said... Sometimes my job just <sighs> fucking sucks sometimes and there's really nothing you can do about it but just you just hunker down and you you keep going and you just hope that one day you have an audition where they look up at you, they smile, they say your name correctly. I love my job. My job is so much fucking fun. It's a lot of fun to be somebody else in those. But when you get paid to do that, it's another ball game. It's another ball game. If you have happened upon this video and I don't look like any of your friends, like, just, I mean, if you're not racist, just subscribe and get to know me a little bit. And maybe, I don't know, we can be friends. Friendship's free. Unless you're like a, a kid. Then I mean, 
I mean, I don't know what this was, but if you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Hit subscribe. Subscribe. Anyways, sorry.